Hey everyone, how are you today? My name is Owen Fox. I work as a spiritual life coach of body, mind and spirit. Working with health, herbs, but especially also the integrating the physical and the spiritual together as a grounded, empowered, living person. All chakras together. Um, body, mind, spirit, emotions, healing from the past. Getting super healthy, strong, vibrant in all areas of life. Radiant, healthy, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful on the inside and the outside. I've written two books and I have a herb shop in case you're interested in herbs which can greatly help and assist all physical conditions including also very much assist mental and emotional conditions too especially the physical but to definitely aid raise your vibration so it translates very strongly into the emotional and spiritual so in this video I just want to first of all welcome you and show my gratitude and love and appreciation for you joining me today so I hope you're really really well today yeah I do do that I do feel that so I got a message and I just thought I'd make a video instead of commenting because sometimes they're big questions and they, they can't take ages to type one question, one answer. <laughs> so the question is, I've never tried a raw food. This is from Mark, by the way. Hi Mark, thanks for your comments. So it's great that you're watching this now if you are. And this, I don't, this is one of my first times I've actually made a video reply. Um, so I'd like to try, I like, this is the first time I've, I've never tried raw diet on. I'd like to try it for a week. Melons and berries are what Dr. Moore seems to advocate. Would you suggest I just mix it up and decide what I want to eat? Um, Fruit-wise or mixed with salads? I have a small allotment too with beets and cucumbers. <laughs> Alright, cool. Thanks for the question. So, um, Our relationship with food, this is the most important thing, our relationship with food is an emotional, psychological, and mental, and energetical thing. It's not isolated. It's not something, oh, I think I'm going to eat that today. Or I'm just going to eat, totally change my diet. It's, an, it's like life. It's an integration and a journey that takes time, and it's progressive. It's like almost exercising. You don't just suddenly run a marathon. You have to train gradually. When it comes to diet, training, the training to the optimal, more like lighter, healthier, cleaner, more higher vibrational and higher vibrational energetically diet, it takes, in, in generally, one, people have to generally heal. That's the training. The training is to heal, to balance and heal and open and your chakras to close some that are maybe too big but that's I don't know if that's generally a big idea most people have blocks and, and blockages and small chakras that aren't sometimes working pro perfectly or properly okay um, this like each chakra translates to loads of stuff in life so basically speaking you have to heal yourself and heal your life so the more that in another way I can say this is the more happier and fulfilled and peaceful you are in life the less baggage you have the less negativity, less literal negative energy, the more easy it will be to naturally, effortlessly, effortlessly is a word now you want to remember, and harmoniously, and enjoyably. So effortlessly and enjoyably, easily. All this stuff, this is the way your diet should optimally be, in my opinion. If, if it's the healthiest and easiest type of way to go about it. Otherwise, Many people force, strain, and push diet changes prematurely. They're not re like psychologically ready. They have attachments to food and addictions to food from the past, from their childhood. And even now they're addicted to food too, because every substance we put in our body has a possible addictive reaction. Most of the food we're told that is healthy on the news is absolutely unhealthy and they tell you this to keep us sick, tired, die early. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, I know it's sad on one level and on another level, higher, a bit of a spiritual more level, it's a bit sort of comical that this stuff is going on and we need we if we want to need to get informed about it and then take action resultingly. <laughs> So it's a bit like a game we're playing and what's essential is knowledge and information. So that's what awakening largely is. Simply, basically, can you imagine the simplicity of getting informed and getting educated about the truth, what's really real 
and stop being blinded and having the wool pulled over your eyes by the lies. <laughs> okay, so awakening more, um, healing more, getting informed more. I would recommend gradual diet changes and I would recommend very strongly eat whatever you want to eat without any judgment. Treat yourself like a, lo a loving little baby, like your child. Don't be giving out to them or yourself if they're trying to change their diet and they're finding it difficult and they want to eat meat again or have coffee or drink a s s drink or have a smoke or have dairy. All these are addictive guys. Cocaine is too. It's probably more... Hmm, some people would argue it's not as, as much addictive. Maybe cocaine is more addictive. But a lot of these food items are very, very addictive. S cooked starches, cooked like potatoes, rice, root vegetables. They are very addictive. And th I hope that doesn't... Sound, that I don't really give a shit actually if that sounds alarming. This is like the truth. In my opinion, it's the truth. A lot of these carbohydrates have been altered, especially the white potato and rice. White rice especially, but even probably any rice is addictive too. It's... they congest... Um, and they they clog unnaturally and they're, they're not a human food really they're like a survival food if you're starving <laughs> they're not a human designed body water vehicle food <laughs> so let's try to give them up guys if you feel like it and see how much you crave them so that's if you feel like it now not, remember I've no judgement and you don't have a judgement or a condemnation <laughs> or a heaviness on your child or yourself. So go back to eating the fish if you really, really want it. What I say is you really need to get that stuff out of your system. You need to get stuff out of your system not by forcing yourself in a mad, stressful struggle where your life is like all about food and then people are developing eating disorders and a very, like, very, a very, very traumatic and negative, like, uptight, tense and f worried relationship with food. Lots of these raw foodists or vegans out there on YouTube are teaching this eating disorders. They have a lot of negative energy, they aren't on the spiritual path yet and and they are te they're, they're transmitting and advocating like a negative energy and eating disorders basically speaking like I know a lot of them can help and they do but there's also a lot of mixed like positive with a lot of negative. I just want to teach the positive so and I don't want to teach it like by being dogmatical by saying oh you have to stop eating meat or fish like you can't eat dairy it's like cruel the fact is a lot the fact is a lot of us are st stuck in habits and patterns based on fear and conditioning and habit and addiction added on top and we have a lot of mental emotional psychological healing to do and we have to combine all this as we're a combination of body mind spirit emotion we're you know, an energetic and electromagnetic and a water vehicle, a physical vehicle, a chemistry vehicle. We we are subject to the physical laws. So uh, my main 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 thing is be gentle, enjoy yourself, be easy going and easy on yourself. Don't be judgmental of yourself, and don't be judgmental of other people. Enjoy the journey guys, enjoy the journey, enjoy the journey Mark. Any little step, you know, as, as you get accustomed to it and in a habit and you keep allowing yourself to eat what you want to eat and drink the old stuff you wanted to drink, you become glad and at peace and happy that you're allowing yourself to do this. This is an act of self-love actually. This is like, this is like when a baby is crying, you don't say, you shouldn't be crying because there's people around and you're disturbing them. That's like saying you shouldn't be you know, you shouldn't be doing that, eating that meat or having that habit. How, who, who can you just suddenly say to somebody, you shouldn't be doing that, I expect you to suddenly change your entire life now and expect you to be able to, and if you don't do what I'm telling you to do, I'm going to judge you. Like, that's like trying to tell someone to become a saint. Hey, if you don't become a saint, I'm going to judge you. You're inferior and bad and I'm above you. And like, as if you're a saint, like, by acting that way, which a lot of the raw food or vegan people are like, especially the vegan people. But not only this is related to diet, this can be related to anybody. Like, you know, you're religiously self-righteous. The Bible says this. The Bible isn't the only book, guys. There's loads of religious books and there's loads of religious masters. 
Christ consciousness is an energy and a vibration. It's not Jesus being the saviour of the planet by any means. I love Jesus. I resonate with his heart massively and his energy. I've been like, I've been, I get called Jesus all the time. And I've been told I've, I've Christ consciousness like Jesus by a few different people who are energy sensitive psychic people because I embody the purity in the heart. My my um, my biggest heart ch chakra is my heart. My favourite chakra I've been saying for a long time is my heart. It's the heart, the heart of gold. And in Jesus' teaching, you see the glowing heart. And this isn't me boasting. This is me telling you what what I what's most important to me in life. My heart, love, compassion, tenderness, forgiveness, softness, love, unconditional love. All these like lovely moving things, divine feminine qualities. What's what move me the most? You need to have like divine feminine qualities for yourself. To be gentle on yourself and, and, and when you can practice giving it to yourself, you can give it to others. But if you can actually start practicing even giving it to others, you will get, get better at giving it to yourself if, if you can focus on that also and become aware that you, you're entitled and deserve and are worthy of love just like everybody. <laughs> so, it's my intention in this video to help heal eating disorders to promote self-love, gentleness, warmth, compassion, softness, flexibility, um, easy goingness and, and being able to make long-term changes instead of just forcing for a week to do an all melon diet and then you're like fecking man I'm dying and strung out from detox symptoms because massive addictions and <laughs> and detox is going through your bloodstream and your limb system and your body energetic shifts <laughs> you're strung out like stress craving and it's like you're ruining your you're kind of like stressing yourself out and ruining your life kind of for a few days or a week or two generally when people force push and strain there's a there's a backlash like an elastic band <laughs> um and then you go back to eating more of the old stuff you were eating before <laughs> because it was premature you have to do it integratedly with body mind spirit um, psychology um, m mental and emotional readiness so diet comes goes go hand in hand with mental and emotional readiness if it goes hand in hand it's what I was saying earlier it's enjoyable I wish I had my tripod sorry got to, like sorry if this is a bit shaky hope it isn't it's in my mum's house so if they go hand in hand it's enjoyable and easy it's effort effortlessness basically speaking um, more it's more like that anyway um, there's maybe there's other factors if depending on how, what your physical health is like and your physical toxicity because the more you detox the harder it will be um, generally also um, psychologically mentally and emotionally but overall they should go hand they, they can go hand in hand if you're ready and you're taking at a pace that's ready suitable for you at this stage of your life so another thing if you want to increase Here's my recommending recommendation for the ideas of starting a raw food diet. It's everything I said. So it's it's not about starting a raw food diet. It's about eating some more fruits. It's about having more salad with your cooked meals. It's about having smaller cooked meals over time. Um, any transitional amount you want to do. I'd recommend the mucusless diet healing system. It's also brilliant. Um, you can check them out on Facebook. The mucusless diet healing system forum by Arnold Errett. Um, I, I suppose I'll put a link below the video just to help. Yeah, I'll put a link below the video and check out all my links below the video. My life coaching, my herb shop, my books and my playlists. I have playlists on all of these topics. Healing, health, relationships, everything. Um, I'll put a link for the distilled water and Oran um, information. I can't recommend that enough. Watch them stuff. Um, it could for some people mean it's summer and it's warm and you're happy in life and you feel like eating a lot more raw foods and you feel comfortable doing that for the people it's winter it's cold um, you're not used to eating raw foods when you start to detox a bit cleanse and heal your body temperature goes down making it less fun and a bit more emotionally or mentally challenging so therefore you might wish to take it at a slower rate so it's all about self-awareness reading the, the energy and the needs of the moment Self-love. See the way I smile saying that? Because it's the best thing. Self-love. 
and going thinking about the long term instead of the short term. Okay, so other things I'd recommend, just to, just adding like a little bit of extra really really good information for the video guys. Okay, other other complementary factors I'd recommend would be I'd recommend generally to do an enema um, at, around once every. It could be once a day for the, some extremists, and I mean that relatively, not literally. There, I'm not judging them or calling them literally an extremist, but it's extreme relative to the rest of the population to do a, a daily enema. But I know, like probably loads of people who do do daily enemas, so I'd recommend either doing daily once a week, twice a week, three times a week, once every two weeks, once twice a month. I I would recommend at the least to do an enema probably once a month even I'd recommend much more really but whatever you feel comfortable with if you, you can do it less than that an enema is very handy it costs around 20 to 20 to 25 dollars or less on Amazon or eBay or whatever it's very good for cleansing your GI tract your GI tract is very important to cleanse and it helps cleanse toxins which we've built up in big unnatural proportions that are stored in our body I'd recommend getting enough sleep if you're tired go back up, lie down in bed for a while Close your eyes and get horizontal. I'd recommend getting a distiller and drinking drinking a lot of distilled water, like a litre, two litres, maybe even three litres a day, depending on how many fruits you're having, which is distilled liquid in itself. Don't forget to watch the video I put below by Andrew Norton Weber and check out the website AquariusTheWaterBearer.com. I'll have those links below. Um, I'd recommend exercising as, as you can, get fit, get yourself beautiful, look after your physical health, look after your physical looks. It's important to have confidence and to manage all chakras and to have self-esteem. It's important, guys. Physical and spiritual go hand in hand. Uh, it's one thing to get overly inflated about your ego and always obsessive about your looks, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about being happy with yourself, being confident and finding yourself to be pretty or handsome. And sexy. <laughs> Why not? We are sexual beings as well. That's okay. No point in pretending otherwise, guys. So all this is about self-acceptance and self-love and honesty. All this is related to how to change your diet. You wouldn't think that, would you? But it is. And most, most people don't talk about this, but it's important to talk about and to realise if you really... This isn't good information. If you're still watching this, this you're like, this is good. This is like good information. I'm grateful for all my sources of learning and I'm, I'm glad to pass it on. And I'm gonna, I learned from my own personal experiences too. I'm gonna actually um, make more better videos in the future in this channel. I'm gonna make more educational videos. I'm gonna make better content videos. I'm gonna make videos that are more impactful in people's lives and that's what my intention is. So, thanks for your time and energy and your love and gratitude. Thanks for any comments below expressing these feelings. And even if you don't comment, express the feelings. I'm grateful. And thanks for the love that comes into me and from around the world. Thanks for everybody's help in the past. If I never needed your help with fundraisers, it really helped. So thank you. Um, just taking the time. Please share this video or consider sharing at least on your social media, multiple social medias, Facebook, Twitter, pages, groups. Really, 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 really appreciate it. Put a fair bit of time and effort into making this video, editing, uploading, recording, all that type of stuff. I'm just trying to be of service and help people out there. This is crunch information. This really, really helped me. I used to have an eating kind of disorder or let's call it eating disruption, eating disharmony. I had a poor relationship for food. It took me a few years to heal actually. So if I had saw this video before I wouldn't have gotten into that. I keep seeming to make really like bad decisions in life, <laughs> go through suffering and big amazing experiences, come out the other end, tough challenges and be equipped with experiences and then help other people after gone through it myself. I did pray at an early age, teach me the hard things in life, guys. Give it to me. Give it to me so I can experience the stuff. I'm ready. <laughs> I have a warrior's attitude. I'm like, sometimes they say, be careful what you ask for. <laughs> but, um... <laughs>
Yeah, okay, and anyway, it's long enough, I suppose, but, um... <laughs> Yeah, thanks for sharing, and if you if you liked the video, please give it a like. I really, really, really appreciate that as well. Um, and um, other than that, I'll talk to you again another time. And subscribe if you're new, of course. And take care. Lots of love to you. Have a beautiful day, and you're a beautiful soul. And I send you my love, respect, and regards. Stay happy and stay well. Look after yourself. Okay. Hey. See you. Take care. Love. Owen. Oh,